Hello guys and welcome to the Game of Beans, I'm RPX6 and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Kuru's alert system. So first of all you want to download it from uh, Curse Client obviously, or not, or not obviously sorry, you want to download it from Curse Client or anywhere else that is able to download it from. From there you want to go to add-ons, make sure you've turned it on, uh, enabled it from here and obviously you copied and pasted it from your uh, from the downloads wherever you downloaded it from into the Rift folder. Can't remember which one it is, but it gives you all the uh, gives you all the information on how to put it into your Rift folder on the site. So once you've got it up, how do you use your abilities and set it all up? Well, first of all, this ability down here called Enable Ability Scanner. This, when you've put it on, will change your add-on. Uh, C uh, CPU for your add-on from like free uh, in the individual one from like really low for when it's off like now it's on uh, 0 0.2 0 0.1 really low to ready for it really high 20% uh, 22 it can go higher depending what you're doing if you're in combat etc because uh, you're using abilities make sure you only use this to get your abilities that you need don't keep it on otherwise you're gonna have seriously lag issues and it's bad so you use this to get your abilities make sure if you want to get someone else's ability like a rogues one rogues abilities make sure they're in your party and they're using their abilities while that is on otherwise you won't get it so how do we set it up and what do you need uh, well, you can have whatever you want on it. Uh, you can do mana, charge, etc., and abilities. But for Defile Mancer, it is best to use what's on the screen now. So, how do we set it up? Let's go for a new one. So, if you want to use an ability, you can start with clicking the buff and uh, whatever. So, say we wanted Flame Bolt. Uh, you can't type in Flame with a capital letter. It's case sensitive. This is so you have to use capital letters and look at that it's not even working oh it's flip derp it's a lump you dick anyway uh, flame so it doesn't work capital letter flame and here we go we've got all the different kind of flames that we have so we want flame bolt you don't need to put bump buff length in it it doesn't really don't really understand what it does but that's about it so you want it on cast only this is a ca uh, yours only buff make sure you have it on yourself so what do we want it on? It's on the player because it's on me when I cast it. Do we want it when it's active or when it's missing? I would like it when it is missing and when I'm in combat only. This means it will only show when I am in combat. So if I'm in combat, not in combat and I target and when I'm not in combat it won't show. Do I want a warning? Click on warning and this will say how long uh, left until it's out. I don't want it on that long so I'll say two seconds for this. Uh, I need a name for it. Hmm. Uh, let's call it Flame Bolt. Save. So once you've done that, you can edit layout and put it anywhere in your screen that you want. So let's see if this works. So if I do we go in combat and we don't have oh it is we don't have Flame Bolt on apparently, but we do. Weird. So it did not give me Flame Bolt buff really strange so here we go the flame bot buff is up and it's broken oh lol how convenient is that it's not that because it's not in flame bolt it's called improved flame bolt oh derp what a big derp right there so if we use it now now it goes so a big fail by me there make sure you know the names of the buffs otherwise you're screwed complete fail by me there so what else can you use this add-on for? So you obviously got flame bolt, etc. Uh, and what el what other stuff can this actually do? So we have here a uh, stacks. So for instance, on if you're in Stormcaller and you want the electrified stacks, oops, uh, you can make it so it tells you uh, when you got three stacks on if you have it on or if it's missing so this is when it's when I have three stacks it will have it in here and it have a timer it'll count down of how long I've got left on the three stacks of electrify on that mob very handy if you want to do single target stormcaller 
ice shear again. I've got it. So it's I've got it. There's a timer of how long it's got left when it's active, though. So when it's missing, I can have it so uh, when I'm missing three stacks of electrify, it will tell me that or in the position it will tell me if I'm missing. So it doesn't really different pictures, they're pretty much the same picture so you can edit the picture or put it in a place where you know that it is. Verse of Joy comes in very handy indeed. You can have this on your screen, you can make it so uh, that uh, when you has it up you can use maximum DPS by putting in an IC or etc and it will still be you get in charge because of Verse of Joy. Very handy to know when you can hold that on or use sacrifice damage, damage is needed etc etc. So apart from this, what else can you do? Oops. Uh, so you've got ability. You can make so uh, if you have a combat reds, you can have it so when it's ready or how long it's on cooldown for. Very handy. Resources. You can have it how much health, mana, energy, and power, and charge, and combo points you have. You can have it on targets, pets, or focus, so whatever you're doing. Uh, and you can have it so when it's above a certain a number when it's a below in the number or how long in range and you put the volume in underneath so I could have my mana my charge on I could have it on myself and when it's below I say you know 20 I could have it so it warns me with a picture on the screen of you can have a custom one or default uh, etc so that can come very handy indeed what other stuff so We've got chloro, you can use it, the best thing is for the chloro crystal. You can tell you when you've got five stacks of uh, chloro crystal, so when you know when to use nature's touch. We've got radiant spores, for this one I have it so it's above radiant spores, and instead of having it as self cast, I put it off as a self cast. Why have I done this? So when then targeting the target, because you need to put target on, because it's on, because this ability is used on the target, on a target, that when it's active it will show but this means when it's not when the self only cast isn't ticked it means when other people have radiant spores on it will show it will highlight on my screen where I put it this is very handy so if you see that no one's using it you can use it or if there's someone else that is using uh, radiant spores you don't have to do it and if it falls off you can put it on etc etc if they die it's very handy to know if radiant spores is on the bus or not at all and obviously you've got the Reverend Vine. I got why have I got two sacrifice life damage? I've got one that's telling me how long the buff is on for, so counting down for 15 seconds. And the other one is saying how long I've got left until I can use sacrifice life damage. Very good. Uh, other ones you can have opportunity. Uh, you can have it as a self buff in play. So when it comes up, when opportunity comes up, it will count down how long you've got left of it. This is very handy because the opportunity is very small as it is. So you can have it as a big picture on your screen how big you want, I don't know, but that's pretty handy, I think. Flaring power, this is very good, and heat wave, so you can know when, when flying power comes up, you can know, you can use heat wave, and it, heat wave, I've got it, so how long I've got left of heat wave to use, so how long left I've got to spam flame bolt, fireball, and use the countdown uh, as on their own, which is good. So, these are the best uh, things to use, so on my layout, this is how it goes out. I've got when the fl flame bolt countdown is in time with dots. I've also got the uh, uh, life leech. I would say put it as 8 seconds of life leech so you know when to use void bolt or not. I've got two sacrifice life damages and I've got the cooldowns depending on which spec I'm in. I can use this for this setup for 3630 and the fireman set. So it's kind of up to you on what you can use. And I hope this guide here to uh, the Colors Alert Raid Alert System has helped a lot or helped a bit uh, to get you started on how to use it. I would recommend using this for uh, a lot of your specs. It comes in very handy for little, just tiny little things. So I, I would advise using this a lot. So thanks for watching and good luck setting your own sets up.